But today I'm going to focus on the evolution of photography. So we start with daguerreotypes, view cameras, the film SLR, the DSLR, the iPad, and then ultimately the cell phone and the cell phone selfie. How many people uh, are in the world today? Any ideas? You guys know? Seven billion. How many selfies were uploaded? Uploaded, not taken. Uploaded to uh, Google last year. Google estimates. Any idea? More than seven billion. Keep going. 20, 34 billion <laughs> selfies were uploaded to Google last year. That's not taken. That's uploaded. What's the main demographic? Any ideas? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. Specifically females in the age bracket of 18 to 24 were the main ones that were uploading selfies. So we're going to talk a little bit about the evolution of photography. We start out here with the camera obscura, go on to um, heliographs, daguerreotypes, calotypes, tintypes, glass negatives, albumin prints, film cameras, color photography, Polaroids, digital cameras, and now cell phones. So um, this is just a few of the different evolutionary um, um, components that photography has gone through. It's still changing. Cameras are changing all the time. DSLRs now can upload images wirelessly to the web. So you know the technology is just flying by. I learned on slide film back in 1996. I started. Um, you know, you would go to let's say Africa. I would shoot 100 rolls of film, and I wouldn't see a single image until weeks later when I got back. So it's changed a lot, just to say the least. So the roots of photography have always been embedded in science, and the camera obscura is basically a blacked out room with a small hole. And this was actually um, described back in 470 BC from a famous Chinese philosopher, Mo Ti. Leonardo da Vinci used it to uh, help in his drawings, so he would use it and it was like a copy component. But what's so exciting for me about photography today is every part of the process from day one all the way up till now is still being used. So this is a contemporary photographer, Morel, who's um, basically creating these upside down images by using a camera obscura just in his apartment. So he'll black out the windows, put a tiny little pinhole in, and then an exposure like this takes about eight hours 